will be from about 44 yards out, but the whistle blows before this kick heads goalward. The kick is way short. I thought I heard a whistle blow, but apparently not. Oh, really? Utah's celebrating, so maybe they didn't hear it either, Tim, and it's just a bad kick. That will only be the third miss of Mike Ritchie's career. He has missed more extra point attempts than he has field goals in his Arizona State career. He's missed four PATs. He's now 20 for 23 in the field goal department. I could have sworn, though, I heard a whistle blow just as the snap was made. I think there was some type of whistle. It may have come from the crowd, but I'm, I'm with you, Tim. I think I heard something. You wonder if that didn't affect the kick. It, it, had, to, it had to have affected the kick, because Richie's a solid kicker, and that one never had a chance. Maybe it's the band director getting the band ready for halftime. I don't know. So the Utes will take over from the previous line of scrimmage, the 26-yard line. There seems to be some confusion on the field, some conversation involving the officials and Sun Devil head coach Larry Marmee on the far sideline. Perhaps uh, what they're talking about is what we've been talking about, that uh, what very much sounded like an official's whistle blew before that, about the time the ball was snapped to Holder Adam Brass. Check out the replay. After, the re after this play, we're going to show you a replay of the field goal, and you can listen and see if you don't hear a whistle as well. At any rate, it's Utah first and 10. The pitch to Keith Williams runs into one of his own offensive linemen. He is brought down after a short pickup. Brett Waller stepped in on the stop. All right, look and listen to this field goal attempt by ASU's Mike Ritchie. Tries 20 of 22. This one will be from about 44 yards out, but the whistle blows before this kick heads goalward. The kick is way short. Did you hear the whistle? It, it got, it blew right about the time the ball got to the hands of holder Adam Brass. Well, I had to be a Utah fan because it's something a Sun Devil fan wouldn't do. On second down, Dolce passing to Brian Rowley near a first down. Kevin Minifield pushes him back. The first down marker is between the 36 and the 37 yard line. I tell you that Brian Rowley is dangerous in the open field. Last year, the young man averaged 27 yards per reception as he led the Western Athletic Conference. Caught 28 passes for 762 yards. This one is going to leave the Utes about a yard shy of the first down as the clock winds down on the first quarter here at Sun Devil Stadium. And that indeed will be the end of the first period of play in ASU's second home game of 1991. The Sun Devils with the only scoring opportunity in the first quarter, but so far, we are scoreless. The period set to get underway here at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe. Tim Healy along with Jeff Van Rapphorst and Mike Chamberlain to bring you Sun Devil football. We think we've solved the whistle paper. A young man in the stands blew the whistle and they don't look too kindly on that. He is being led out of the stadium. Blew a whistle that apparently distracted an attempted ASU field goal. As we begin period two, Keith Williams goes forward for a pickup of about three or four. First tripped up by Brett Wallerstead of the Sun Devils. I tell you, dude, I didn't know it was against the law to blow a whistle in a football game, but this guy's now doing five for life in the state penitentiary, so 